IP560, this is Ruben Oliveira with my Unit 4 Reflection on Confronting Disabilities. Uh, the first part, recall a time when you had to make a purposeful decision to rise above your disability in spite of its impact on your life. Um, I wouldn't say I had real disabilities, but I had a couple temporary disabilities where um, the first one, about three years ago, I uh, developed a bone spur in my heel. Uh, I had Achilles tendonitis, which I kept playing soccer on. Um, I was only playing like once a week, but then I started playing two, three times a week. Um, originally, I was just icing it and then playing the following week. So I was taking care of the swelling so it wouldn't feel so bad. But then it got worse. I ended up going to the doctor, and the doctor told me I had a I didn't have Achilles tendonitis anymore. Well, I did, but I ended up developing a bone spur, which was worse. So and it's pretty painful if you ever had one. Just walking was starting to be really painful. So the doctor basically told me I can have surgery and basically cut it out or live with it. So it was I was a little worried about having surgery just because the risks that come with any surgery. I hadn't had one before, so that was a little nerve-wracking, but I decided to do it. I ended up having the surgery the last day of the school year, so I missed the last day. Um, and then basically the whole summer break, I was, in a, I was in a cast for six weeks, and then I was in a boot the following six weeks. Um, our summer is only six weeks long, so I'm on a year-round schedule, but um, basically the doctor wanted me to take another... A week or two and not go to work yet because the swelling was still still had some swelling going on but I didn't want to start the school year um, with a substitute and then having to deal with the kids after that uh, they don't want to start the school year out like that for me or for the kids but um, I basically still ended up going to work I was in a boot I ended up borrowing a friend's uh, little scooter, if you've seen those. Anybody that had a foot surgery, that really helped to get around. I was using it during the summer, but just getting back to work um, kind of helped because I wasn't doing much, couldn't do too much. So, um, And then last year I had another surgery. It was actually just about exactly a year ago. I had arthroscopic knee surgery uh, to remove some loose cartilage. Um, I ended up um, messing up my knee playing soccer again, and I was playing on this. It was swollen and ended up getting worse. And I should have listened to my body, but I didn't. And then uh, basically, the doctor told me I had to hang up the cleats, which was pretty depressing. And said I couldn't play soccer anymore. Basically, couldn't no high impact sports. Basically, no running. Um, so physical activity was going to be very limited. Um, and he basically told me if if I was to get hurt again, I I would need a knee a knee replacement because I hardly had any cartilage left in my knee. So it was pretty depressing to to be told that you couldn't do the things that you love to do. And I am getting older, but I don't consider myself old because. I've played with much older players than I have than I am and I always see myself as playing into my late fifties, even to my sixties, because just I I feel like I could still play. So um it was really depressing but <clears throat> ended up uh going to church a lot more and praying and just asking for guidance and how to deal with the situation because um, I didn't know what to do, but, um, next thing I knew, I saw, um, on Facebook, I saw, uh, like a little ad from, a uh, company called Stem X. It was a stem cell therapy, <coughs> um, information that I found, and, uh, I basically looked up the company, gave them a call to find out more information. I've heard about stem cells, but didn't really know too much about it so I went to informational 
and heard a lot of uh, promising information because um, after talking to the, one of the doctors there, they, they basically told me they've worked with much older uh, clients with they were much worse off and they had really good um, results. So they pretty much convinced me that it was a yeah, it was a good thing for me to to try and it basically gave me hope um, that. I would be able to be active like I was before. Maybe not quite as active, but um, it gave me hope to to be able to, to do some of the things I didn't think I was going to be able to do. So I ended up doing it. It cost me quite a bit, $4,500 out of pocket because insurance didn't cover it. But to me, it was worth the chance because I didn't want to look back 10 years if I'm getting a knee replacement and saying I, I should have tried the stem cell. Well, it turns out I ended up trying it um, and actually turned out really well. Uh, the doctors told me I've, I've, uh, I've got a lot more cartilage back in my knee and basically I can go back to regular activities. I can start playing soccer again, but I do need to lose some of the weight that I put on where I wasn't active. So I've been doing that. I lost uh, over 15 pounds. I'm trying to get to 20 or 25 pounds so I can start playing again. I, I want to make sure I don't mess up my knee again. Um, what was the result? So the second part was what was the result, the courageous choice. Um, well, first of all, the surgery, um, it helped because I no longer have the, the heel pain or the knee pain that I had a little bit after the knee surgery, but now that I had the stem cell, I hardly have any pain. I do have a little bone, a small bone spur in my knee, so I do feel a little bit of pain, but I know it's the bone spur, it's not the actual cartilage, so I'm not like bone to bone and uh, risking getting a knee replacement, which I don't want to have. Um, what else, as far as the stem cell injection, it's given me hope and basically a new lease on life where I can be active again. And so I'm pretty excited about that and getting back in shape and hopefully playing again, at least being out there and playing with my players uh, at soccer practice because the last couple of years I really couldn't do it. And last year was really bad. I was actually... I had surgery in the middle of the season, was on crutches and all that stuff, but um, now, hopefully, I'll be back at it and out there playing once again, and I think that's about it. Thanks, can't wait to hear you guys' videos.